Verse number 4 in Jeremiah chapter 1, the Bible reads, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And again, God being outside of time. I formed you in the belly, but even before that I knew you. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Now, even just in this one verse alone, we can still apply. You may not be the prophet Jeremiah, and I know you're not, okay? I'm not either. But what do we see with Jeremiah? God has a plan for him, right? God's got a job for him to do. He said, you know what? I chose you. I wanted you to do this job before I even formed you in, in the womb. I had this job for you to do. You're not all going to have the same, the same exact job that God had for Jeremiah. But you do all have a job to do. God's not creating useless people. He's got a purpose for, for every single one of us. You may not know all the ins and outs of everything that God wants you to do. But you know what? There's some things that God has for all of us to do. You know, God has entrusted us as believers in Jesus Christ with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is something that he's given unto us. Okay, and we can apply this perfectly just to that one thing alone. Let alone anything else where, where God may be leading you and, and directing you in your life. This one that applies to everybody will fit perfectly for us. Oh, God, I can't speak. I don't, I, uh, what do you say? Oh, I'm a child. We may say like, well, I'm not a child. I'm, you know, 70 years old. I'm not a child. I'm 50 years old. I'm 40 years old, whatever. How about, well, I don't know that much. You can still speak. You know, you know, learn more as you go, but you can still speak. God has given us all a job to do. He says, say not, I'm a child. Don't give me a reason why you cannot speak. Because that's what Jeremiah was doing. He was just coming up with any reason. Oh, I can't speak. I'm a child. Right? And do you really think that Jeremiah was not like a seven-year-old or an eight-year-old? Okay? He's using this term just to tell God, you know, hey, I'm kind of young. I'm inexperienced. Maybe I don't know that much, Lord. So, I mean, I can't, I'm not the right person for this job. You need somebody else. And God's like, no, I, look, I chose you. I already chose you. Don't argue with me. You're a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. You've already been chosen to preach the gospel Amen. to every creature. It's already done. So there's no point in arguing about it. So don't argue with God. This is what I want you to do. God's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's God's will. Okay, what's God's will for your life? How about you preach the gospel? No excuses. Say not, I'm a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. So when we go out, you know what we're preaching? God's word. Amen. Not our words. You can't go wrong. So when we go out soul winning, guess what we do? We bring our Bibles with us. Because we're not out trying to preach our word and our thoughts and the, the things that we think about in our heart. No, we, we focus on the word of God. Here we go. You, you, don't, you can't go wrong with that. He goes on further to give instruction unto Jeremiah, Be not afraid of their faces, verse number 8. For I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. We have no reason to fear this job that God has for us. If God be for us, who could be against us? And, and let that sink, I mean seriously, let that sink in. If God is on your side, who in the world, the whole world could be against you, but what would that matter? You plus God is greater than all, Amen. right? And God's not going to pit himself against himself, right? He's not going to have like God against God. If you're on God's side, then anyone else who's on God's side is on your side too. And it doesn't matter. You can, you can have one person, just you, standing alone with the Lord, and you will win. 